Hey guys, what's up? It's Tech with Dave, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use PK Hex. So, for uh, the use of PK Hex, you're going to need two things. You're going to need uh, the PK Hex program. It's uh, you're going to find it on Google. Just type in PK H E X. Uh, it's going to be the first link usually. Uh, it's going to be projectpokemon.org. So open that up, and it's going to be right here. The latest file is uh, 20.06.19. Uh, Creator of uh, Kafotics. I hope I didn't butcher that one. And I agree down here where he says, uh, just do not use significantly significantly hack Pokemon in battle or in trades with those who are unaware. Hack Pokemon are in use, you know. So don't use it for illegal use. Just use it for personal reasons, you know. Have fun with it. Do it offline and just don't risk getting your switch banned. It's not fun. So uh, we're gonna want to download this file. I've already downloaded it, it's on my uh, desktop. And the second thing we're going to need is uh, Checkpoint. Uh, most of you guys already have this. Uh, I downloaded it just for uh, the latest update on it. I didn't have version 3.74. So go ahead and click that if you don't already have it. Uh, it's going to be checkpoint.nro. And now that we have both of these right here, you're going to want to extract that. I've already extracted it, I have it right here checkpoint.nro you're gonna want to install that with uh, open up your Nintendo switch SD card open up your switch and okay where is this at you're gonna want to drag uh, your NRO onto the the root of your SD card I've already got it so it's gonna ask me to replace I'm not gonna replace and once we're done with that we can go ahead and uh, insert the SD card onto the switch side of things and continue the video see you guys over there Okay guys, here we are, Nintendo Switch Home Menu. Uh, don't let my theme fool you, it's a theme I downloaded from the Home Boost Store. And what I wanted to mention is uh, the biggest mistake some of you guys make uh, when using Checkpoint, you guys open up the Home Brew Menu. And that opens up Applet Mode, and the way we use Checkpoint is, uh, go back to the Home Menu, you're going to want to hover over uh, an application. Hold the R button, press the A button, that's going to bring up your profiles. Uh, depending what profile you want, hold the R button, press the A button again. That's going to open up the homebrew menu and that's not going to be on applet mode. So let's look for checkpoint, here we go. And I'm going to be scrolling down to uh, Pokemon Shield. Um, I'm going to press A, I'm going to be making a backup, so I'm going to press the L button. Backup select the save data, yes. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave that title it's fine it's uh, for video purposes press ok and another thing I wanted to mention while I'm here is if you guys want to delete uh, a backup for any reason just go ahead press the X button and you can delete select the backup because sometimes they add up and just to keep them clean it's fine so this is all we're gonna need right now we're gonna head back to the PC and mess around with PokeX see you guys there Okay guys, so uh, now that we're back on the PC, let's start to close up the video and we're going to go ahead and open up PK Hex. So um, make sure you've ejected your SD card out of your Nintendo Switch and it's on the PC because we're going to need that file we uh, backed up. So let's go to File, Open, and let's go to your Nintendo Switch SD card. You're going to want to open up your Switch folder. Let's go to uh, Checkpoint, Save. Find your Nintendo uh, game ID, mine is over here, open up your main folder. So once that is open, you're going to see your game progress, whether uh, you got Pokemon in Box 1, Box 2, Box 3, Box 4, you're going to see everything. Uh, Party Battle Box, you're going to see your Pokemon there. So I got a cool little team going on right here, And uh, but uh, recently I made a, a Squirtle Squad. <laughs> so th that was fun, uh, like I said, I like to enjoy in-game uh, just hacking you know it's fun so uh, the way we're gonna edit Pokemon okay let's say there's a Pokemon in your box you don't want or you want to alter or uh, let's go with Squirtle I have a bunch of these I'm gonna get rid of them so you're gonna right click it press view it's gonna bring up all its information over here so main let's uh, say we want to change them to uh, star you star you is cool we'll name the star you uh, yeah, it's always saying yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna do that. Let's make it a uh, modest. Um, 
My uh, star you uh, strikes me as a modest Pokemon, just nothing but special attacks. Who will have it hold a life orb? So it's got all items here. It's got all abilities, uh, natures, anything you want. So when uh, you have this, um, you can go ahead and re-roll its uh, Pokemon ID. You can choose whether you like it shiny or not. Uh, I usually like shiny Pokemon because I don't catch many in games, so I just find my way in there. Uh, you can choose where you met the Pokemon. Usually this tab is for uh, the legitimacy of Pokemon, you know. If you can match up uh, how you found the Pokemon, uh, with how you find the Pokemon in game, you'll have a check mark over here as opposed to like an exclamation mark and that'll uh, show up as like a legit Pokemon. I don't support cheating or any of that. Uh, it's it's cool when you do it offline but you will get banned if Nintendo catches you. So just be careful with that. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, right here you can change its IVs. Uh, I usually do 31 for everything and change EVs. So. Um, 252 HP uh, I'll put 252 in special attack so if you exceed the 510 which is uh, usually uh, the max EV you can put on a Pokemon it'll turn red over here I'm gonna take that out let's say I'm gonna put a uh, 252 in speed subtract it from the HP and then I'll give them a uh, 6 in defense oh it was already in special deal. okay cool 510 and you can randomize uh, EVs, IVs if you want, but I'm usually more competitive on that site. You can change its attacks. Uh, we'll give it a Leaf Storm. Um, say Flamethrower because uh, just for the heck of it, you know? Uh, what else is he? Thunder, we'll, we'll give it a Ground Move. Uh, Earthquake. So now we have like the ultimate star you. Uh, original trainer, you can change markings, all that. So once you have the Pokemon you want, uh, more or less, with stats, moves, and everything, you're going to want to go back to um, whatever tab you want, but uh, right click on the Pokemon you want to replace, and press set. And that'll have this Pokemon right here exactly how you edited it. And if you want more than one, press set again, you know, it's, if you want to give your buddy a hacked Pokemon, just know, just have him know that it's hacked, you know. And, between modded switches or something you know but you can make multiple copies of one Pokemon um, one more thing before we go back to the Nintendo switch because this is uh, basically the, the PK hex side of things on how to modify Pokemon it's really easy uh, you can actually change the amount of items within your bags so say for instance I have 995 for candies let's do uh, video purposes we'll do dynamite candies dynamax we'll put uh, 995 as well so we'll save that now we have uh, 995 of that or we can give all and now we have 995 of everything which um, I don't normally do I just like it for the rare candies um, once all this is done go uh, back to file we're gonna export or save export the main and we're gonna replace uh, our backup file underneath uh, main. We're gonna replace that. Do you want to replace? Yes. It's gonna give you uh, a bunch of stuff there. Uh, just hit OK. We'll be fine. And uh, that's really it for the PK hex side of things, guys. So uh, we're gonna go back to our Nintendo Switch. We're gonna uh, open up that file that we've um, replaced uh, our backup with. We're gonna restore that, and that's gonna be it. So let's finish this video up. Okay guys, so this is the last part of the video. Let's uh, go ahead and open up our homebrew menu. We're going to open up our checkpoint. Let's go to uh, our game with the, the backup file we just uh, edited. We're going to go down to our file right there. We're going to hit the R button. So restore, select, and save. Press yes. And once you've done that, just go home, open up your game. You're gonna see everything you've edited. You're gonna see all your Pokemon, your hacked Pokemon, shiny Pokemon, and uh, that's really it, guys. I hope this video was straightforward. I hope it was simple. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.